Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Reselling with Rachel. This episode, I'm gonna cover what sold on Poshmark from October 31st through November 6th. On this channel, I'll be covering all things related to reselling, entrepreneurship, selling on Poshmark, fashion, and other things I can think of. So if that sounds good to you, please like and subscribe to my channel and that way you'll get notified of videos I make in the future. I'll be posting what sold videos every week. I'm a online reseller. I've been doing it since 2019. I resell on eBay and Mercari and Poshmark. However, I do make the majority of my sales on Poshmark. So I'll just be sharing the sales I make on that app with you. I won't cover my cost of goods um, or what I purchased the item or where or anything like that. I'll just provide you guys with the order price, how much it sold for and what brand it was. Won't break down anything else, but if you want to do the math, Poshmark fees are really simple. If you sell an item that is over $15, they'll take 20%. And if it's less than $15, then they take a flat $2.95. And as a disclaimer, the price is reflected in no way reflect the value of the item. I run a business and so I'm constantly sending offers and accepting offers. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get into it. The first item that sold was a day trip linen mix lace front blouse with uh, short sleeves that sold for $12. And then a pair of moto boots with metal studs from Carlos Santana called Sawyer and they sold for $50. A pair of Levi's wedgie but buttonfly jeans, a medium wash blue, sold for $35. A pair of Doc Martin Mary Janes with, with an ankle buckle strap, sold for $68. A cut from the cloth faux suede pink jacket, sold for $17. A pair of Keen Winthrop leather winter boots, fleece lined inside and also kind of on the outside as well, in a brown color sold for $93. A pair of Hint jeans mini skirt, it had a really cute detail of the um, sparkles around the hem, sold for $12. And then a bundle sold for $125 and it had eight items in it. The first item is a Nike fit pullover sweater hoodie in a really cool pink color with some yellow trim for $23. I had listed for $23. A Victoria's Secret tank top, brand new with tags, I had listed for $24. A denim and supply cheetah print off the shoulder blouse sold, I had listed for $18. Uh, Paradise Lahaina full zip hoodie in this really cute green color and it had embroider embroidery on it as well. That sold or I had listed for $28. A Lucy ruffled, asymmetrical ruffled long sleeve uh, top, like an active top with a semi sheer uh, tone to it. Sold, or I had listed for $21. A pink by Victoria's Secret long sleeve full zip hoodie with zebra print. I had listed for $45. A Lucy Active tank top with a built-in bra in this really neat bright green color and a really cute sweetheart neckline. I had listed for $22. And a pair of Realtree camo sweatpants that I had listed for $27. And then a Billabong tank top. It was a cotton tank top with a screen print front that's uh, sold for $9. A Vans off the wall crop hoodie sweater sold for $17. A halogen cashmere wool blend sweater sold for $28. This red flannel from Stussy, a cotton flannel, sold for $25. A totes rain hat with a cute feather detail and a bow on it sold for $20. A pair of Lucky Brand Yoana Tan Suede uh, booties sold for $34. A pair of Dansko leather clogs, slip-on clogs with a neat geometrical design on them sold for $55. A Mountain Hardware fleece zip-up jacket sold for $15. 
a pair of vintage Burberry slip-on mules with its signature uh, plaid design on it sold for $55. This ASOS mini dress with sequins on the cuffs sold for $20. The Lucky Brand Boho dress, it had tie tassels around the collar and I think it, it also had a waist tie that sold for $24. A Patagonia dress with a sweetheart neckline halter style in this really pretty blue color sold for $17. A pair of cut from the cloth denim jeans, high rise ankle skinny style, sold for $30. This Christopher and Banks button down uh, top slash jacket, like a light jacket, sold for $14. A DNY fur cap with new with tags, sold for $12. This Vans pullover hoodie in a brown color, sold for $12. A Carl Lagerfeld Paris uh, pull, uh, shirt, a Carl Lagerfeld uh, thick shirt, like kind of a sweater style, uh, in a nice pink color, sold for $14. A pink by Victoria's Secret Chicago Chi Town sequent full zip hoodie, sold for $20. This Eddie Bauer fleece pullover sweater in a red color, sold for $15. A Nike sweatshirt pullover with a boat neck, kind of frayed hem there, sold for $16. A pair of American Eagle yellow shorts sold for $20. This Ralph Lauren cotton sweater with attached uh, collar, so it had like a faux shirt under it, sold for $15. A Lulu's sheer sleeved um, sweater sold for $15. A pair of new without box coach boots, uh, coach riding boots sold for $110. A bundle of five sold for $185. That included a sweater by Rubbish in a speckled black color for, that had listed for $18. A Puma asymmetrical zip hoodie that I had listed for $27. This pair of Coach Signature Nanette High Top Patent Leather Shoes sold for, or that I had listed for $87. A Halogen Wool Mix Zip Up Cardigan Sweater I listed for $68. And this Forever 21 Tie Dye Long Sleeve Kind of Sweater Top Thermal uh, I listed for $18. A Madewell Cotton Pleated Skirt Dress with Pockets uh, in a black color sold for $14. So that's it. That's the end of uh, everything I had sold for that week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time and I hope you found it useful. And if you enjoy this channel, please like and subscribe and I'll be posting this every week so you guys have some idea on what's selling from my closet, Lemon Marzipan, on the Poshmark app. If you haven't done so already, please download the app and check out my closet. Again, it's Lemon Marzipan. The links are down below. And you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. I post every day to Instagram and you'll find me there at Lemon Marzipan as well. I'm working on a website and I'm listing new items every single day to my closet. So if you don't check out anyone else's closet on Poshmark, at least check out mine. Um, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great week and take care. Bye.